Okay, we promised a quick update, so here it is. Uh, the first thing we wanted to share is um, where this is. We got a lot of questions about this property and saying, where exactly on the Adriatic coast are you guys looking at this property? So it's in the country of Croatia, and not a lot of people know exactly where that is. So we put up a map here, this is Google Maps. You can see Italy here, and Croatia is right across the Adriatic Sea. On the other side, this is the Adriatic Sea right here. It's on the other side of the Adriatic Sea. And where this little kind of bulb, red bubble is, that's actually where we got the property. So that's where in Europe it is. And if I flip over, um, I'll kind of zoom in now. And this is the coastline here. And Croatia is really well known for all the different islands that it has. And this is not even a really good representation of that because there's many more islands, smaller islands, that aren't actually showing up here. Um, but um, this property is in between two rather large um, places um, relative to Croatia, not large for North America, but there's this uh, city here, Split, which is about a population of 270, 300,000 people right now. And then there's a, a Dubrovnik, which is down here on the coast. And that is a really popular tourist destination. And, and so, so is um, this place here called Makarska. Um, it's a really popular tourist destination as well. And these two islands are as well. You get a lot of tourists, especially a lot of Italian tourists in here. So um, the property is kind of an, an hour from Split and maybe two hours to Dubrovnik and 35 minutes to Makarska, right on the coast. Um, that's where it is. And I think I have some pictures. I found some pictures that I can share you of the coast. So I don't know how, how well this is coming across on the camera. But this is the coastline here. And this is actually the, the spot where we have the property. The property is actually sitting up here on this kind of um, hillside here overlooking the coast and it's kind of got uh, immediate stairway right down to the beach here um, which is really nice and there's a little marina in here as well and they're actually putting up a little hotel right in here as well and some of the first new development going up in, uh, in this particular area and uh, here's another shot of it from a different angle um, so there's some of the beach area there um, there's a the location where one of the uh, hotels going in right there, a little marina with some boats parked there, um, and there's a little bit more beach area this way as well. Um, all over this coast, there's little pockets of beach all up and down the coast. So now I'll flip over to um, the actual property itself, just to give you a quick, um, a quick idea of, of what we were looking at here. So what we what we got here, I'll flip over to this side here. What we um, the reason that we were interested in this is this building um, is in a nice location, obviously, right on the coast. It's not in a really um, popular tourist spot, which we like. We like a little bit more peace and quiet. And um, they don't build much in these areas, um, if at really at all. So to get some new construction is really rare, especially new construction that's all new ceramics, an updated kitchen, an updated washroom. So it's really nice. Um, no need for any renovations. And um, when you it only has three floors, uh, this building, with three units of floors, so it's a nice small uh, building. And the only large unit left was on the second floor. The top floor, uh, the owners who are building this are keeping it for themselves. The first floor was be, was bought already, and this only second floor was left. And we really like that second floor because of the clear views of the Adriatic coastline that you can see off these two balconies here. And another reason just um, that, that we like this property is as you come in this door here, this area can be a separate bachelor unit if you, if you want it to be. This is a full washroom here. You can put a kitchen here. You can have like a one door bachelor lock off here. Um, but, um, um, and, and that's, that's, that's good if you want to rent it out separately. And then there's two other rooms in this unit here. There's a kitchen here, a full bathroom here, and another um, larger kind of balcony terrace here with really just amazing views off this, um, which, is, which is why we, uh, why we really liked it. So this gives us enough space that uh, when we have family and friends over, there's enough sleeping areas here. It's really like a two bedroom, but you can almost make it a three bedroom here because the kitchen's over here. Um, and uh, that allows us to kind of entertain and have people. And the building itself is really cool. On the top floor, so on the roof of the third floor, there's a pool. Um, so there's a nice little pool going in there where you're going to be able to uh, overlook um, the Adriatic Sea. And there's a couple barbecue grills and things up there too. So it's, um, it really has some things that really older properties wouldn't have which really appeals to us as well. Um, and the other, the, the, the second reason that we really kind of liked this, this property, I'll put the shot back up of, uh, of the location. Um, the second reason we really like this property is just the team of people we know in this area. We have cousins and an aunt who own property here. And some of you may remember, uh, we were actually there in the summer. We were kind of checking out the scene a little bit. And um, um, our cousin acts as a bit of a property manager for our property there already. So if you've been hanging around us a little bit, you know that we think the most important thing with any property, 
whether it's uh, cash flowing investment property or something like this, it's maybe a, a little bit more on uh, the vacation recreational side. Um, if you have a good team um, around you, it really makes everything better and easier. So we have that with our cousins who know the legal, some of the legal uh, structure, we're able to kind of help us out, point us in the right, right directions for property in Croatia. Um, and uh, if we need anything done, we can call them up and they can take care of some of the things in the property for us. Because the idea is that we can rent this out. Um, tourists do rent this. Tourists from all over Europe come to this area to rent it out, so we can rent it out. Um, but we're not sure if that's the, the avenue we're taking with this particular property, if we're just kind of kind of keep it. The whole family has some big plans to go and uh, do some entertaining out there uh, rather rather quickly. Um, so it's the location, the, the team, and, and the last thing um, was uh, just the timing. The Canadian currency is rather strong right now. I think right about now it's almost on par with the American currency, but more importantly, um, it's gained about 10% against the, uh, the, the euro is, if I'm not mistaken, over the last few months, I think it's around 10%. Um, so that really gives us some power to come in here um, with, the, with the euro following a little bit, the strength of the Canadian dollar. We're taking advantage of a little bit of that as well because that translates into savings for us when we purchase over there. Um, so that's it. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of idea. Nick is in here. He's uh, kind of racing over here um, to the office from here. We're off to Chicago today. Um, so we're both uh, running around a little bit this week. Um, but we hope that, you, that gives you some idea. I'm sure Nick will have an update on how the negotiation went and uh, we'll post that at some point as well. So that's it. Talk to you soon. Remember, your life, your terms.